What's up everyone? John Renger from Techno Buffalo here. Apple unveiled the latest iteration of their mobile OS, iOS 8 at WWDC. Over a hundred new features are included. I want to give you a highlight though of some of my favorites. I've got it loaded up here on my iPhone 5S. Let's go take a look at the eighth iteration. iOS 8 introduced hundreds of new features. Obviously, I can't show you all of them, and the big caveat here, this is in no way a review. This is just the very first beta of iOS 8, so I'm sure more features will come, more features will be sort of tightened up. So don't take this at all as a review, just an illustration of some of the highlights of iOS 8. Uh, so one of the new things that we've got here is group messages. So there's a ton of options you can do inside of a group message. So there's one that my sister sent me about um, her daughter. So you can see all the people that are involved in it. Um, you can send your current location, you can share your location. You can now do do not disturb, so you get that sort of loud thread where people are texting every three minutes, you can go ahead and take it out. You can see all the attachments, there's a picture of my niece. Um, and you can actually leave this thread as well, which is really nice, you wanna leave the conversation. That's something that I've been uh, very excited to have. Uh, also in text messages, you now have active notifications. If you're inside of an app and you get a text message uh, that comes through, you can reply without having to jump in to the SMS app. So here's one from Ron, hey John, if I just pull that down, I could now see it and I could type my message and be on my way. You can do that inside of any application, which is really helpful. Uh, you now have third-party widgets, not on the home screen, but in the notification shade. Um, so it'll show up right here under your today screen. You can scroll all the way down, go into edit, and then you can go ahead and add them right here. More are gonna be showing up, obviously it's just uh, in beta, but they're showing one with ESPN Sports Center, uh, which should make it really helpful to get sort of other non-Apple things to show up right here. It's probably as widgety as we're gonna get uh, in iOS. Uh, you now also have third-party keyboards, which is nice. We'll go into Ron's message here. I go and take a look at keyboard. Um, you can now have third-party keyboards that can show up here. They showed swipe, for example. Uh, but the main keyboard, which is available right now, is sort of new and refreshed. Uh, so now you've got words that are going to show up uh, as you start typing, and they'll learn what you're typing. So if you're to have a business one, they'll show sort of business words. If it's more casual, they'll show more casual words, uh, which is a kind of a neat thing to have. So they start to type, hey, it starts to populate there. I think I might saying hey day, hey how's, and starts to sort of populate hi how. You can start to see it just goes um, as predictive text, something we've seen uh, on Android and other OSs uh, quite a bit. Um, you can now, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, you can also reply using a voice, which is kind of cool. So you go ahead and go back in here. I'll send that off to Ron, and I get that notification, a little microphone right there. If I hold that down, uh, you can tap and hold it, put it up to your ear, uh, record it put it back down and it'll start to send a message for you automatically, which is kind of neat. Uh, but can't really show that here because we are camera down. Um, now there's new favorites as well. Previously, if you double tapped, you would get just your list of open applications, but now your favorites show up here as well. So it's gonna show the people you called most recently or texted most recently. If you go all the way over to the left, it's gonna show your favorites. It's gonna be the reverse order though, the way you've got your favorites on your phone. So whatever shows up at the top is now gonna show up at the end. So I've got my wife, for example, uh, top of my list, but now uh, it's at the end here uh, on favorites. So bear that in mind. Kind of cool to have it. You can go ahead and select somebody's name and you could go ahead and call whichever number you've got on for them. So I've got mobile and home, or if you want to just send a text or FaceTime, you can do that right from here uh, as well, which is kind of handy. Uh, a lot of new additions to mail, which is quite nice. Let me go ahead and jump in there uh, and show you. So now if you swipe on over, it'll go ahead and mark it as red or unread depending on what it is. If you swipe the other direction, you can now pick if you want to uh, get more options, flag or archive, uh, both very handy. If you go ahead and jump into an email and somebody you don't have in your contacts, you can now add them to contacts um, right from the mail app, which is a sort of a very uh, nice addition to have. Uh, other sort of standalone applications, you've got health, which is kind of a weird looking icon, just the heart. Uh, that's where we're gonna bring in all of your uh, health paraphernalia that you've got. We talked about your jaw bones and fuel bands. Uh, and that kind of stuff there as well. So one other feature that they didn't talk about but I did notice is in the camera, you can now pick how long it's gonna take before it snaps a picture. So three seconds or 10 seconds, make sure you get yourself all set up. You select it, it'll give you a countdown right on screen and then it'll go ahead and select the picture. Um, and speaking of pictures, also new photo editing stuff here as well. So let me go ahead and show you that. We'll jump into pictures. Uh, here's one of me giving a thumbs up. Uh, so go ahead and go into edit. And now you've got just crazy options for what you can tweak here, light and color. Um, so you can go ahead and sort of move it 
any way you want and sort of see how it uh, affects. You can sort of even boil it down even more um, if you want to expose your highlights and actually see what it's doing as you go through through a picture. Um, sort of very cool. And also a ton of new additions to Spotlight as well. You've got sort of Wikipedia search, sort of and other third party searches can now show up uh, here in Spotlight. So really there's just crazy new stuff. It's more of a, an evolution of iOS 7. I think they fixed some of the issues they had with iOS 7 and added some of the features that arguably should have been there before. Uh, but it looks to be a very nice evolution. Um, again, this is still in beta, so by no means a review. Uh, but things are working pretty smooth, at least in my first, you know, 12-ish hours uh, of using it. Um, so what do you guys think about iOS 8? You're gonna try it, not try it? Is it enough to sort of get a new iPhone, an iPhone 5S with iOS 8 on? Are you gonna wait for the next year version of the hardware? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Please leave it in the comments right down below. Till next time, I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys next video. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe right here. Be the first ones to know whenever new videos get uploaded. We got a ton of stuff. We do phones, tablets, cars, anything that has to do with consumer electronics that has to be plugged in or uses batteries. We review.